Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few ways that you can create credit notes and apply them to your sales invoices in Xero. Now in this video, I use the Australian version of the demo company, but you can follow along no matter which version of Xero you're using. And also this lesson is part of a full course, but you don't have to do the course in order to follow along with this lesson. So there's going to be a few different types of credit notes that we're going to create. The first one is going to be for an unpaid invoice and we're going to create the credit note from inside the invoice screen. Then we're going to do the same thing except we're going to do it from the main invoices screen instead of from the invoice template screen. Then we're going to create a credit note for no particular invoice. So there's no outstanding invoice for the customer but we need to give them a credit for some reason. And also I'm going to show you how you can create these credit notes either for an entire invoice or just for part of an invoice. Okay, so let's start off by creating a credit note from the invoice template screen. So we'll go into invoices and we'll go to awaiting payment. And we'll just click on that invoice that we created before for Bayside Wholesale. Okay, so from here, this is the invoice template screen. All you need to do is go up to the invoice options and just choose add credit note. And as you can see, Xero has gone and created a credit note for the exact amount of the entire invoice. So just having a quick look over it from the top here, you can see that it's on today's date and it's given it a credit note number based on what we had set up in the invoice settings that we had a look at earlier. And then it's just got the one line in here um, for that particular invoice. And then down the bottom, it's got the whole $24.99, including GST there. So you can see here, it says less credit to invoice ORC 1041, which was the invoice um, that we originally had there to create the credit. So that's all good. So this looks fine. We'll just go ahead and approve it. Okay, and that takes us back to the invoice that we just started from. And you can see down the bottom now, it's got less credit note and the $24.99 and the amount due is nothing. So from here, we can actually email that to the client if they want a copy of it. But um, let's go back to the invoices screen. And you can see how it's represented here now. So it's actually in the paid bucket and you can see we've got the invoice and we've got the credit note net there and they're both showing as nil, but that just means that it's all um, technically paid up and it's no longer in this awaiting payment bucket. Okay, so you can see that that's no longer there. So that's how you can create a credit note um, for an entire invoice um, from the actual invoice itself. So let's now create a partial credit note or a credit note for part of an invoice. So we'll go to this one for city limousines that we created before. Okay, so this is a two line invoice. So we'll just once again, go up to the options and credit note. Okay, so from here, there's a few different ways you can do this. The first one um, is that you can actually just amend um, the amount itself. So let's say you wanted to give a credit um, for a hundred dollars of that consulting. You can just type a hundred in there. And you can see there that we've got this $660 credit now instead of for the full amount. So that's one way of doing it. So for, for this one, we're giving them a credit for $100 of the 1000. And we're also giving them a credit for the full $500 there of the training. But let's just say that all we were going to do was give them the $100 credit. So we can amend that line like we've done. And then the next line, we can actually just get rid of it just by clicking on that X. And now you can see that all we've got there is the $100 credit plus GST. So that's 110 all up. So if we just hit approve there. So back at the original invoice, you can see now that we've got the credit there for $110, including GST. And that's been knocked off the 1650 total. So now the client still owes us $1,540, including GST. So let's just have a quick look at this one. So we'll just go into the preview just to show you how that all washes out on here. So again, you can see the amount credited and the 1540. And then this is one that you would uh, most likely have to send to the customer. So you can just email it um, 
directly from zero or print the PDF and just email it your own way um, through your own um, email system. So we'll just go back to invoices. Okay, so that's how you can create a credit note for part of an invoice. The next thing I wanna show you is how you can create a credit note for no particular invoice. And the way you do that is you just click on this new credit note button at the top here. Okay, so then you need to pick a customer for which you don't have any um, invoices currently in the system. So what I'm gonna do is actually just send a credit note to zero. Okay, because I know we don't have any invoices in the system for them at the moment. So this works in much the same way as the other documents you've seen. It's just got a date and a credit note number, the branding up there. We won't worry about any attachments. So I'll just put a very simple description in here just to save time. Okay, so I've just gone and filled in the details. So we've just got a credit for zero for $100. And I've just put it to the sales account, um, which has come through as GST on income. And then down the bottom, it's just added a bit of GST onto it. And we've got a total of 110. So that's not attached to any particular invoice. Um, that's just going in as a credit in the system. And we'll, so we'll just hit approve. Okay, and after we've approved it, just like uh, normal with these documents, you can email it um, to the customer if you like, or print the PDF um, and just send it through your own email. So let's just go back to the invoices screen and just see how that's represented. So because it's not against any particular invoice, you can see here, it's actually got the minus $110 there. So next time you actually go to create an invoice for zero, it will ask you if you want to apply that credit against the invoice. So that's how you can just create a credit for a customer if they don't have an invoice um, in the system currently, but you need to give them a credit for some reason that they can use um, in the future. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show you with credit notes is how you can create a credit note and you can apply that one credit note across a couple of different um, invoices. So if we just have a look down our list here of um, awaiting payment, we need to find one where we've actually got a few of them outstanding. So you can see with City Limousines, uh, we've got a few. Um, th this one's already got a credit note against it, but that's still outstanding. Uh, this one here as well, um, that's actually a separate credit by the look of it. And there's this one here. So City Limousines has a couple um, of um, invoices outstanding. So we'll use that one. So what you have to do is go into new credit note. Okay, so I've just selected city limousines there. Um, we already know how to create this, so I'll just quickly put in some information. Okay, so I've just put in some basic information there. This is a credit to city limousines for $100 in total. Um, I've just changed the GST setting, so that's $100 um, including GST. So if we just approve that, this time, Zero has detected that there's a couple of invoices outstanding. So last time we went through that process and we made the credit to Zero, there was no invoice outstanding. So that's why it didn't give us this screen. This time, Zero has detected that there's actually three invoices outstanding. So it's asking us how much of the $100 we want to allocate against each invoice. So if we wanted to, we could put the whole 100 against one invoice. So if I do that, you can see down the bottom here, we've got no credit remaining. Or instead of doing that, we can split it across them. So let's just say we put 50 on there and then uh, maybe we just put nothing on there and then we put another 50 on there. So we've used up the $100 and we've split it over two um, of the invoices there. So we'll just hit allocate credit. Okay, so this is just our usual summary down the bottom here. So that's all done. We'll go back to invoices and we'll go to awaiting payment. Okay, so we can see our city limousine um, invoices are still here. So this one was $50 more. So, so you can't actually see on this screen um, how much of the credit is there, but you can see by this little um, yellow bit on the icons that means that there's credit against them. So I'll just click into this one and you can see there that there's the $110 that we made um, earlier in this lesson 
And then there's the $50 that we just allocated then from our split one. So that's on that one. And then just to finish off, if we come down to this one, okay, you can see the other $50 there. So this has actually got a payment as well in there that they've paid um, a couple of months ago. And there's our $50 credit there. So you can see how that credit has been uh, split against those two invoices. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more free videos and also check out the links in the description below for our zero courses. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.